Welcome to Tech Notice guys, this is a part two of the Adventurer, Pilot Fly Adventurer gimbal test. If you haven't seen the first one where I'm talking about all the review, then check this out just up there by clicking on the corner over there or finding the link in the description. This one here is where we just do a stabilization test, do a few different runs, do a few different walks and then show you how the stabilization works. Now I'm filming at the moment on the Sony a7S II with the size uh, 16 to 35 lens f4 if you do want to know what equipment i'm using then just check the description below i'll list it all there as well just so you know that if you're using the same equipment you can expect the same results but uh, without no further ado let's do some tests so the first test what we're going to do is just walking directly without any effort of trying to walk smoothly or doing the ninja walk we're just going to walk straight as it is and then see how it does that. If you've seen my previous video then remember that I talked to you about the horizon drift issue so if you look I don't know if you can see the screen here at the moment you should be able to see that the screen is really off the balance is not straight and it's really not easy to get it back so um, I'm just trying to switch between different modes to get it back. Okay, there we go. We can do a camera calibration as well. How you can do that is basically hold on the camera mode button over here, but put it on a fairground or somewhere straight and then just level it straight, hold it straight, and then it will kind of do the leveling, which I'm doing now. So the mode that I'm using on these tests is the yaw axis follow mode, which is the mode two, because uh, it follows my yaw like that, but it doesn't follow the pitch or tilt up and down, basically. Okay, let's do it. I'm trying to keep the camera pointed in the middle center. This is at 16 millimeters, very wide angle to get the least amount of shake possible. And I can see the camera or the gimbal is just struggling to keep it on the horizon. It's gone back to a bit better. Actually, now it's straight, so. Now, secondly, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the same, exactly the same thing, but on 35 millimeters, because when you zoom in, you're gonna get more shake just to see how the camera, I mean, the gimbal handles the actual weight. This is also testing the camera. And this is also testing the gimbal's operating temperature because it is like four or three degrees Celsius outside. It's quite cold, so you can see the horizon drifting. Okay, and walking back. Next, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do the ninja walk on 16 millimeters. So you can see how smooth it can be. Just trying to walk as smoothly as possible to get as smooth of a shot as possible, okay? The good job is that even though I've balanced the gimbal on 16 millimeters, but when I'm zooming back out on 35 millimeters, the motors are so strong that I don't have to worry about, oh, my gimbal going out of balance. It's just not making any noise, just literally handling the weight perfectly. Okay, on 35 millimeters, ninja walk. Okay, and walking back. Now, next thing we're gonna do is run. So I'm literally gonna run, trying to run as smooth as possible, just so you can see that what it's possible to do with it as well.
bit of a workout. A low on the ground, very close to the ground shot. We're on 16 millimeters, just trying to make it as close to the ground as possible. And then walking really smoothly. So now it's a full axis lock mode and when you run you should get extra smooth results. Okay, I can see that the horizon is going off so don't be distracted about that. Whew. Now we're going to test like the all axis follow mode. So at the moment it's following every single axis. What we're going to do is as you can see that little tree over here. I'm going to try to smoothly swizzle around the tree by keeping the tr tree in the middle of the frame trying to make it as smooth as possible. See how the software and the axes are doing the trick. By the way, this is all filmed at 4K 25 frames per second. The next thing what we're gonna do is when I walked at first, all the tests that I've done so far is having the stabilization of the camera on. Whereas now I've turned it off. So I'm going to do a literally just a walk scene, normal walking, not ninja walking, walking there, seeing how it handles that. We'll go back to mode two. So it's just following my yaw, okay? Normally walking. Just so you can see if there's any difference on having the on-camera stabilization on or off. I'm always using it on, but who knows. And now the very last what I'd like to do is just to kind of show you how awesome a gimbal can be is I'm trying to do the same by just walking handheld so you can see how much the camera actually, I mean the gimbal stabilizes it. I'm just gonna take the camera off the gimbal then we're gonna do that. On 16 millimeters, trying to make it as smooth as possible walking ninja trying to keep my hands really balanced smoothing out every single little movement now i'm going to put the stabilization on that was stabilization off now in body stabilization and on the lens are acting together trying to make it counteract all the movement trying to make it as smooth as possible let's try that on 35 as well Obviously on 35 you can see much more shake. I don't know why anyone would use this really, unless you're filming an action scene, but just to give you an example. Okay, and walking normally back. Wow, there's quite a lot of shake. Still trying to keep it as smooth as possible, but it's very shaky. Thank you very much guys for watching this video if you did find this helpful please leave a like on the video it will make a massive difference honestly and if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing because more content like this is coming out every single week i'm going to leave all the gear that i've been using in this video in the description below so you can check it out and if you do want to get any of the gear please use my links that will be affiliate links which means i will get a small commission with no extra cost to you so massive thank you if you do that if you do have any other questions about the adventure gimbal then leave a comment below there will be some other people answering questions and um, maybe have some similar questions so I'll be meeting you in the comment section below if you haven't seen the first video then just check the first video out and I'll see you next time thanks guys for watching bye bye